Legend of Total War here with part two of my uh, Rome Total War roleplay let's play campaign um, as the Julii Romans under the command of the young Marcus Julius after the death of was it Flavius Julius? Yes, Flavius Flavius Julius Victor. So Victor being named given to him. All right, so uh, what am I doing? So. You just come and stand out of the settlement for the time being. These guys need retraining. So we're not bringing all of these guys with us. You can be disbanded. Now there'll be three of these ready to go. What else can we recruit here? Okay, so two of these units are being left behind. Which ones though? The Barbarian Cavalry and Beliaric Slinger Auxiliary Units, or Mercenaries, whichever you prefer. Um, I'll keep them. I guess it's just a case of might as well just merge some of these, um... Yeah, just merge some of these, um, Hastati. So. Merge. Merge these. Merge all the lower experienced ones. And then... Wait, wait, that's three. So, yeah, okay. There's, there's room in this. Okay. So now let's see if we can transfer experience a bit. To try to make these guys a bit better. Without actually merging them again. Alright. They won't merge any further than that. Good. So they're outfitted with... Uh, with new equipment, new troops. Well, actually, not new equipment, same old equipment. Um, and then we're making our way over here to retake Lugdunum, which is going to fall, but it's cost them valuable time. Time that we had to go and get our forces up to, up to scratch. Now, if we have a look over here. Now, oh, wait, wait, what am I doing? Just go to self. Look at the military ranking. They have nowhere near recovered from where they were when we first landed out here. Like I said, I knew they had loads of troops that just hadn't shown up. They haven't recovered yet. Okay, so let's build. What do we need? The only thing there's any need for us to make another legion right now. What might be in our best interest is actually building up these settlements a little bit more, trying to get to the Marian reforms, because I'm not really a big fan of the the, the pre-Marian units. Plus, the, all your best units come later on. We're in no desperate need for finances. We're good for that at the time being. We're quite rich. I think this has gone a little bit quiet now. Let me just... No, that's too loud. Because that was what it was on before. That'll grow fairly soon. Hmm. There's rebels out here. It's not good. But if I get rid of them, the more will just show up. And clearly, we, they're just going to stand there. We're much better off coming in over here and defeating the Gauls. Right, I don't think there's anything else for us to do, so let's move on. What's our Senate mission? It's not something ridiculous. Take Settlement of Salona. Well, that's actually not ridiculous. There's gold out here. In Dalmatia. But if we, if we send the army out over here to capture this, we are dooming these settlements. Dooming these men. I mean, they're already doomed, but... Our cousin over here is probably going to die. And we give the Gauls a chance to recuperate. So 
So we can't have that. I mean, the rebel settlement's not going anywhere. It's just that somebody else might get it. All right, let's get moving. It's a reasonable legion. So it's pretty good actually. You know, for this stage in the game. Now one thing I'm noticing is that Oh no, they are starting to get married. Oh, okay, cool. So if they're getting married soon they might have children. Alright. So you still the governor of here. Good with that. I need population growth. I'm surprised that this is still going. I'm pretty sure that's just a general. Maybe not. So, yeah. Not worrying too much about Narbo. Let's cut our way up through Longdenham to get to um, Elysia, which is the Gallic capital, which has a reasonable population. This is where they're getting their best troops, or where they're getting the bulk of their troops from. Enslaving them will also greatly increase our population. So let's move on. So this is at Lugdenum, I think. Yeah. So what have they what have they got here? Okay. Uh, well they can't man equipment. How long will that take to start off? Three turns. Ready to sail. Nabo. Alright, I'll try and save them. Might as well. And it's a little bit of a detour, but if we can save the eight hundred or so people over there, gotta get that population growing. Probably missed a good opportunity to use those um, 14. Ready to sail. Um, the unit that was had only 14 men left. Because uh, that wouldn't have cost much in upkeep. To, you know, put them in a fort up here. But oh well, I just realised it then. But also another thing, unit that's good for, um, for that kind of thing are war dogs. Because they are, uh, they are quite cheap. So I'll hire some units of war dogs to block the alpine passes. A watchtower out over here wouldn't hurt. It's important to know when enemies are coming. You don't want to be like have fog of war all the way to here, and then suddenly, boom, there they show up out of the nowhere. And they're like, oh, what happened there? Wish I had a watchtower in hindsight. It's all right. Okay. Um, well, that's all we can do. So let's move on. Seems like no no one's paying any attention to Carthage. Okay, they gave up on Narbo, which is fine. I'm not going to go chase them. And we need to lift that siege of the fort. Um, yeah, I have no interest in fighting Greece. However, if I could get some money out of them, that would be good. I mean, I don't need the money. Eh, whatever. Ready to sail! Set sail! Go save that one man. Okay, so 
Okay, so the first battle for Marcus Julius. Let's see what he can do. Pretty small scale battle. It's more like a slaughter. But that's fine. Sort of like caught a raiding party and butchered the them to death. Has risen. How many of us who look upon this dawn will live to see the night? Today we go into battle against the Gauls. Warriors both worthy and brave in equal measure. They stand alone. No friend has come it's to in this small scale battle, so we probably don't need to hear this. Well, we might as well send the dogs off to go and die, because, you know, I get them all back. And even if they only kill one man, it's just, you know, essentially a free kill. Towards the other dogs, I want them to pull away from that. It's only a handful of kills with what, 1%? 2% of them. Well, let's go again, let's move forward. One thing about war dogs though, they never break. I mean, they only break if they haven't been unleashed. So they didn't do too badly against that. Free kills as possible. Mm. They just can't fire their uh, javelins fast enough for cavalry, which is not a big deal. I mean, that that charged a lot of damage. Of enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. I'm trying to do this with minimal casualties, but you know, what are you supposed to do against that cavalry charge? I mean, they were bracing. Yeah, another reason why I started just don't really cut it anymore. They won't last much longer at this rate. Hmm. 
Now I should think the music is too loud. That's it, alright. I guess it was his first battle, so. Victory! Killed eight times as many as lost. General! March! No more moves, sir. General! Forward! Alright, what else is there to build? Nothing, let's move on. Hell no. Yeah, all right, why not? Let's keep the, the Julii name intact. Just as we did in the Scipio campaign. I had people asking the entire way through the Scipio campaign, how come he's not adopting any candidates? It's like, I didn't need to. And same with this one, I just don't need to. I mean, if I'm only playing the battles manually from the faction leader, what does it matter if I don't um, adopt every last freaking general? All they're doing really is increasing my wages cost. Attack! Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. All right, so war dogs there. Move up. Prepare fortification, general. March, sir. And they can help protect the pass. Not that anyone's going to come down there anytime soon, but you never know. Upgrade the roads to highways. Good, so Italy right now is, is th or northern Italy, is absolutely thriving. Okay, the slavery is sort of ended. But it was enough to give us a bit of a boost. So we've got a few slaves here, but why aren't they getting to um, Aretium? Surely they'd travel through the road system here. Guess not. Alright, moving on. Sure, why not? Take Salona again. Well, I would, except I'm busy. Someone's got to kill the ghouls. Before night comes again, this battle will be over. Whether the day goes well, or it's a minor battle, isn't it? A speech. Now it's time to avenge those 224 peasants. For, 40, 42 peasants have died, or however many it was. 240 peasants. Probably no need to send in the Prinker phase. There's no way I'd be able to retrain them out here, so don't throw them away first. If we get to Elysia, maybe the Hastati. If we're really lucky, the Prinker phase will be retrained there. Roman military engineering triumphs once more. 
The walls are down! Order your men on to victory! So many casualties have been inflicted? 22%. Okay, they've got a barbarian warlord, which we do need to worry Great about that. Gods! Our soldiers have done well this day! The walls are taken! You also have to keep in mind that our general is not quite as good as he used to be. Well, as, as the previous one, I mean. So these guys here might break. They respected his grandfather a lot more than, than him currently. He needs to win a lot more battles to get to the same status he was. But here. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. All right, you're near a reserve unit. Come down and let this battle be over. There's a reasonable chance we can retrain these units at Elysia. So let's not lose the unit right now. Or let's lose the experience, which we really need. I'm surprised at how poorly these guys are fighting right now. I've only just landed in Gaul and half the army is already dead. I guess that's one command star for you. It's not necessarily a bad thing. They got a lot more kills on us. That was, but you know, they lost their general though, so that that de definitely counts for something. Victory! Might as well start to begin. Captured. All right, so in this situation here, let's grab the peasant from there. I really don't want to wait here any longer. Um, what I might do actually is leave my weakest unit behind here just to maintain the public order because he's not coming to gonna fight there is there anywhere I could put you into to merge over here just leave six behind they'll catch up later and get retrained at Elysia Well, he's not getting past us. Okay, um, well, we already got the Shrine to Jupiter there. Okay, get rid of this. Build up there. That should help get rid of some of the culture penalty. Maybe. I can't get him there. Not enough movement range. Okay, moving on. Might be an idea actually to soon train a second legion.
No real need for it right now, though. It just would speed up the process of conquest. So, additional four units killed. Four men killed. That was civilians killed, but that's okay. If we chase after them, they won't be able to get to Elysia. What's that for a second? Can you get in here and open the gates for us? Alright. You won't be able to be retrained this turn, maybe next turn. Mercenaries to buff up our numbers might help a little bit. Right, at least now he's got two command stars, but units that are fairly badly damaged, like have under 50 men, should not participate in this. So let's have a look here. Jeez, there's not many of them that are in reasonably good shape. So they'll be used first. I could have used the, the war dogs last, so last battle to soften the defenses up a little bit. I guess I wasn't expecting that much of a resistance. First thing we should do, thin their numbers with missile units. Yeah, this is where slingers don't do a very good job. Our soldiers have Fuck. captured the walls! Now is the time to press on and capture this place. I kind of want to send these guys back to go and just be disbanded in the town, but I'm bringing them here just in case. Let's wait for them to um, engage over here before we uh, send the war dogs. Dog should be more than enough to chase them down, considering they're already tired. Alright, what have we got coming in over here? More warband. I don't think that warband is going to defeat the dogs. Let the Hastati deal with that, they're not going to do much. I 
they could even just kill one of the barbarian warlord bodyguard, I'd be pretty happy with that. Just one. Yeah, they did. We're gonna need reserves. Surprise that guy's here aren't doing a very good job here you come in here. I mean it's just warband. So far killed 63% of the enemy army. Okay, this one's now too badly damaged, get him out of there. Probably gonna need these guys in reserve, so bring them in. Let's make sure they're getting shot by towers. I need to line up a little bit more before I get the archers to shoot. Keep shooting them. Oh, they got war dogs of their own. I don't expect that much out of them. Except they broke through the line here and went straight for the belly arch slingers. The enemy army right. is this like that they surrender. I accept their surrender. Victory! But I'm still going to enslave their people. Alright, so the Principes can be retrained here, so this is definitely a good base operations in Gaul. So you, you're going back down here to help speed up the growth of this town. You'll be coming up this way, of course, to, to join the... to get retrained there. Okay. Good. Extra experience. That's going to come in handy. There's... not a lot here for retraining. Well, not a lot for um, transferring around. That's alright. Looks like there's improved equipment as well. Alright. We could if we can get some better archers. We'll get some more archers. I'd actually like to replace the belly arch slingers with Roman archers. Can't replace the um, the triaria yet. with improving equipment. Oh, 
upgrades with uh, missile weapon, then we should upgrade them. With the fall of Elysia, they really don't have much left at all. Looks like two regions left in Gaul, and then they probably still own Numantia. Okay, what else is there left to build? All good, let's move on. Hell no, You're not getting any of that shit back. gained with the masses. How's things going with that? We're, st we're still uh, basically nowhere. Hey, yeah, we've restored our numbers back to where it was, except for this guy here. Come in there, and if I transfer that, so if we if we stay here another turn, we can increase our um our equipment just it just improve the uh, melee attack by by one, which I think we can afford to do. I mean, the Gauls are ruined with only two minor settlements left. What are they going to do about it? I think it's important he gets himself better equipment. Uh, but also, we should recruit a unit of peasants to maintain public order when we leave. Nope, on second thoughts. Recruit a unit of Principes and disband this guy here, who I shouldn't have disband, um, shouldn't have retrained, because it'll be better. Okay, moving on. So they've now spent an entire year at Elysia. It's time to move out. And the Gauls begin their minor offences yet again. But we'll stop them wherever they are. Not a bad guy, but he's old. It's only one unit. How, how bad is it? Well, they'd definitely win if they attacked. But it could take them several years to actually build equipment with just that one unit. to send you over there. If you stand right here. Onward. No more moves, sir. Prepare for battle. Hmm. Imperator. And if I gain some mercenaries, you might be able to lift the siege. Okay, so you definitely shouldn't stay here. Because it's dangerous. Okay, let's get ready to move out. Head up that way. So, tax rates need to be lowered, and we need. Yeah. We need to recruit this lot of peasants in the recruitment pool, just for the time being. Probably should have done this first. 
Actually, now that I think about it, recruit these guys because they'll be better at defending the settlement. These guys aren't going anywhere, but once they're once they're able to move again, the first place they'll go for is Elysia. We could crush them, but it's only two units. Let's keep moving and take their settlements. No more moves, sir. Orders. Watchtower on the road here. For visibility, we can go a long way. On the side of the road, that is. Of course, because as we know, watchtowers, oh, sorry, um, rebels are attracted to watchtowers like flies are attracted to shit. So, we don't want the rebels to stand on the road. It's almost growing. Good. With Araminum growing quite quickly, if it doubles its population, we'll have huge city, which will be able to reform our army. Don't need that. Public order's fine. Resistance here, very low population, but still it's got to be taken. And then we make our way down here and into Iberia. We'll definitely need suitable defenses here. Maybe I'll make you the governor of Elysia. If you get attacked, just order us over, you won't die. Catching up. And move on yet again. Now, the thing about the slow expansion that we're sort of doing in this sort of campaign... Now, normally what I would do is, of course, just hire troops like crazy and just conquer everything that I can. And within a single generation, I'd own the entire map. But by doing it this way, what it does is gives some of the factions a chance to build up. So by the time we go up against them, they've actually got some degree of resistance. So Egypt is actually larger than us. Right. If I attack this here, there's a chance for a draw out, although they'll probably just run away. So I'd say just go straight for conduct here, red denote. Prepare for battle. Besiege the settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Orders. So the guys are backing off. Alright, you stay here. I want a sufficient number of troops here to be able to uh, protect the town. They're bordering the Britons out here, and they're bound to declare war on us eventually. Nothing else to do. Alright, moving on. Yeah, you keep you keep increasing your demands for every loss you take. All right, um, sort of weird that they do this. I mean, we're pincered between them, but they don't have the forces with which to stop us. Not the slightest. Now, to stop a, an assault from happening next turn, we hit the guys that are coming in our rear. Goals do not need your fear. 
Cold steel will bring them down, just like any other men. That army is one quarter of the enemy's strength. So sharpen your swords one last time. When we have killed them all, we will have made a good start. The first move in this particular game is theirs, I think. We outnumber them by a small margin. From such small beginnings are great victories crafted. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. The seer has been consulted, but his vision is clouded. Today we make our own destiny then. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn to face the enemy reinforcements first. It's important that we want them out to prevent having to actually take the settlement by force. Well, you know what I mean, by assaulting it. Which we could do. The enemy have brought up more men. It's just two units of garbage. Oh shit, we're gonna leave over here. Just need time for them to get out in the open so I can fit my cavalry around the flanks. Obviously I can't get them there right now. Alright, just make sure you get them all. They flee. You guys return to the front lines here. Stand in front of them. Okay, you gotta make sure you kill every last one of them so that these dogs turn around and face, fight them. Otherwise, they'll just run off the map. Every last one of them. Don't let a single one escape. Right, good. Good, see, so now they turn around. Right, let's reorganize. So if we win the battle here, we take the settlement, because not a single one of them managed to get back. Taking too much friendly fire on that. Right, 
much food over here. What the hell was that? They shot something at really long range. Drop the guard mode. It's time to attack. The enemy general is running away. The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their do- The gods be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! So they had some of their own warhounds. Well, we'll be getting rid of those. Along with everything else. Doesn't matter if the barbarian cavalry get away. If we kill 85% of them, they're wiped out. Jesus. You know, you think you've got a reasonable navy, then the pirates show up. Rope your lives! No more moves, sir! Alright, you're gonna have to get back to a port somewhere. Set sail! Can't be trained. Actually, no, not here, because we need the population here to grow, and I don't want to consume those troops, those people. So once again we're the largest faction, that's great. Watching and waiting. Okay, like town, not their not their capital. We've almost kicked the Gauls out of Gaul. Okay, our damage here is not so bad. Population's very low though. Can we hire some mercenaries? Yeah. Okay, um... Could I possibly... No. I was just thinking about sending some peasants over here, but didn't have them ready. Alright, I'll recruit... Hang on. I'll increase my number of um, cavalry units, and we'll leave behind a, a damaged Hastati. We'll eventually go back to Elysia for retraining. Well, that's good. Before returning to the army. So yeah, we'll send some peasants over here to, to get the proper garrison going. Maybe I should have built it there, but oh well, once done, it's done. Right. Good, it's almost ready to grow. In fact, what we can do here disband that, build, recruit. And can we do the same thing over here? Yep. Just helps speed the process on a a little bit. Um, no, we don't need the money, so keep the taxes low.
stone walls here. It doesn't really matter if we're not actually personally defending the, the settlement. It's not going to make that big of a difference. So maybe just improve the paved uh, roads so we can move around here a bit quicker. And let's move on. Not too concerned about trade or anything out that way. So is this their faction leader? Yep, no, faction heir. Alright, so one of the peasants over here needs to come up this way. So let's have a look at your uh, traits so far. So he's a vanquisher, fruitful. Does he is he even married? Yes, he's married now. And there's the next generation is starting to come in, but it's a lot of daughters, which is not really what I want. But oh well, it's a it's a start. General, Let's move attack. on. Oh, I didn't make any fucking. Settlement under siege, sir. Oh, maybe. Yeah, we only just besieged this, didn't we? Oh, I got lost track of it. Doesn't matter. Gate didn't, didn't get opened. Um, Alright, now what? We still need population growth because we got to get it to a huge city. Which is less than 12,000 population away. We're, we're almost half. We're, we're past halfway there, sorry. Okay, what's next? I need to try and get these guys safely back to Eretium, but with those pirates there around, that's going to be difficult. No more moves, sir. So the city expanded. Um, which one? There. Right, I don't really want to wait for it to get there, so just disband it and then re recruit it here. And then you can get to come back to Elysia to get back to full numbers. And we'll capture this. Which is not well defended. Now, what happened to the larger army that was out there? The girls fool themselves and think they are our equals or better. I think they had the stench of death about them. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? On this field stand one in four of our people's warriors. We are enough then to win great honor and do great service. This and more, I have no doubts that you will do. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. Their position is hopeless. The count of their troops pitiful. But remember that the base curve still has a bite. We are lacking in spearmen today, and the many enemy horsemen may make life a little hectic if we are not careful. I have fought these men many times, and even now they must be praying to their false gods for mercy. They will have little enough of it from me. The auspices have been taken, and gods be praised, nothing could be found to deny us victory today. With such portents, we need only march upon the enemy. I have won many great victories oh, for Rome. Okay, let's just get in there and kill them.
Now, at some point, I would like these archers to go back to Elysia. Mm. It's kind of out of the way since we're moving to Iberia next. Well, if you ever need to withdraw, because you know, the army's very badly damaged, that's where we'll go. But it's a bit of a bit of a slog, a bit of a march to get back. Same with getting back to Italy. So I doubt we'll be able to recruit in Iberia. It'll be likely sparsely populated, just like Gaul. Let's go on with this. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now they must batter a way through. Our soldiers have done their work well. The battering ra show no mercy. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. So we primarily use the, the Hastati first because they're the most likely able to be replaced. Right, Some dogs in. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Maybe not. They didn't. Didn't release the hounds. Guys will hold the line alright. Get over there. Although it's not really a line. Come on. They just they don't pathfind very well in these settlements. Nothing does. You get over there. What are you doing all the way over this way? Get in there. They made some major improvements to pathfinding in Medieval 2, that's for sure. You fucking cowards. Difficult situation sending in Hastati infantry that just don't part find very well up against units that just they can't the kill very easily. Fear makes a home it's not so bad. Hearts. Still, they lost their was it faction here? Still a handful of dogs left. I don't expect them to be able to do anything though. They lost more troops than we did. Victory! And once again, same problem. No population for which to recruit some slaves from. But I could send... Hmm. See, these units here, they haven't been... Um, didn't retrain them. I really don't want to stick around here. But then again, I did see some forces out here. Where did they go? So maybe we should stay here for just for a turn. Send these guys over here to um, increase the population so that I can recruit peasants here to maintain public order. Anyway, the slaves will go around throughout the, uh, the Republic, well, the Julii form of the Republic, and increase our population growth. Let's get a port going here. Do these guys have slaves? Yeah. If they could have a trade route to Aretium, it might bring slavery there. Increase in population growth. I don't think these guys will make it back, just because those pirates they have navy seeking missiles, those motherfuckers.
It's going to be a while before we can build again. Polymer. We need six times the population. But the Gauls have been more or less kicked out of Gaul. They have no territory holdings here. And let's move on to the next turn. See, I told you. Rope your lives! Boots depleted, sir! Fleet ready! There's no hope for them. Just go back here and I'll just disband them. There's no hope. While those pirates are around, they're... They know exactly where we are and I can't bloody outrun them. The level of piracy in this game I think is a bit ridiculous. You can't go into the strat file and actually reduce it. But that's kind of like cheating. No males of the next gen. Oh, actually, yeah, there are. These guys had children recently. They're um, the old guys. She's a 40 year, 48 year old woman had a child. Appius Julius. Well, fine. Our distant cousin. Actually, no, he's just, just cousin. All right. Um, who are we at war with? So diplomacy at war, just with Gaul. So, you come over here, be disbanded, recruit this here, and let's keep moving. Now, we can't leave these guys out here, but I know I saw some larger forces in the area. And then we need to march in. It's going to be difficult to sort of, you've got to like, in order to not trespass on Spanish territory. You have to go all the way around here to Nemantia, which is a rather long way to go, so I might just declare war on the Spanish, just because we need someone else to fight anyway. After the ghouls are dead. So yeah, we'll need something of probably a legion out here just in case these guys decide to attack not too concerned about money but having an armorer might help right, let's move on I know I had a diplomat in Greece, but I, just, I stopped caring. Yeah, right. Why would I accept that? We're, yeah. Hey, could you cease fire and give back everything you've taken from us, plus 15,000 denarii, and we'll accept the peace treaty with you? Ridiculous. You have absolutely no cards on the table, no leverage at all. I'm not at war in multiple areas. Why on earth would I accept that? This is great. It tells us exactly where they are. Now we can't move. Moves depleted, sir. So, Senate mission failed, but it was a um, sort of ridiculous mission anyway. Well, not ridiculous, it's just an inconvenient mission. So, the Senate should get someone else to deal with that. This isn't the Scipio campaign, we're not listening to every single order of the Senate. Hundred thousand in the bank, so we can yeah, we could definitely afford to have a uh, a legion out here. Let's yeah, get some archers. Don't recruit too much at once because the population is going down.
Okay, don't forget about the spy. Nothing else to do. Alright, moving on. Just burning through turns. Well, we've managed to conquer a good good chunk of land. What the fuck? It's irritating when that happens. Really fucking irritating. And the set its gratitude. It's not worth me sending my army all the way over there to do that. Now, I could come all the way back over here and recapture this. However, we are still at war with the Gauls. If I go up there, then these guys might capture some of these settlements here. Obviously, leaving a garrison here just wasn't an option since there's no population here. If they were to capture this settlement, what does it matter? It doesn't really matter at all. We'll just capture it, recapture it another time. We've got to go in and capture take out enemy factions. Like I said, we'll deal with this. Maybe maybe this army here, once it's ready, we'll go over there and just starve them out. But that's not right now. It's, it is very annoying when rebel armies can just pop out of nowhere and besiege a settlement. I don't like that at all. Alright, so they're having their final stand here, I suppose. Even though it's a river crossing battle, they don't have enough troops to stop us. Today we fight against monsters. The Gauls. They are dangerous, mad, and hairy beyond reason. In victory, they are always heartless. That army comprises a full quarter of our foes' warriors. Is that the best that they can do? These old women, beardless youths, and craven dogs? I think we will grow weary of killing today. They will try to stop us crossing the river. We must, if we are to win. The count of our warriors will show you who is... It's a minor battle, don't worry about it. Alright, so there's a crossing here, and I think that might be the only one. Yep. Obviously, shooting them from a distance would be a good idea. I don't think I need anything other than hostility. These guys here need to not participate. Staying just out of range. So let's get the dogs over there. Okay, just stand back. Stand back. Alright, now while that's going on, there's a bit of a distraction. You guys cross over. The river has been crossed. Hey, those dogs didn't do a bad job at all. So keep shooting the javelins at them. You can shoot anything, shoot the barbarian warlord. Well, if he just wants to sit there passively and die, that is fine by me. The gods! The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. 
So, they weren't able to get any kills, but I lost subunits to friendly fire. So it's a large town. So we might be able to retrain our Hastati here. But yeah, we'll hit them by surprise and come into Spain. Okay, so from the army barracks we can get Triari, which I don't like Triari that much. But when we get the Marian reforms, Triari are, I think, I think they're late legionary cohort. The equivalent, that is. Because if I recall, it's Peasants was the first tier, Termwatch was the second, this is Marian reform. Third tier being Hastati is Auxilia. Principes are early triar early legionaries, and Triari are late legionary cohorts. And then, of course, the final barracks is urban cohort. Okay, nothing else to do. That's fine. Everything's looking pretty good apart from this. I don't think they'll make the attack. They'll just starve us out. How many units do they have? Mostly shit, but we're not quite ready to send these guys over there. Right. Let's get going. Popularities have gained with the Senate, despite the fact that I have not been doing their missions, because their missions don't coincide with with uh, what's convenient at all for, with me. So earn the Senate's gratitude. Now, how does the Senate feel about Spain? Friendly diplomatic relations should be established. All right, all right, fine. If that's what you want, I understand. I'll listen to you, or I probably won't. Yeah. So we're now at war with Spain. Under siege, sir. It shouldn't be called Spain, it should be called like freaking Lusitani or something, but that's fine. Um, anything else we can construct? So this ship here Wait, is to be disbanded because it just can't do anything against that those pirates. Eventually, we'll raise a new fleet. We just don't need one right now. Because, like, the pirates aren't doing anything. It's like hiring a fleet to go take out the pirates. So what? So we've got three turns until surrender. We'll get there just in time. Since he does need to order resolve it, every additional unit that he can get will help. Okay, moving on. Ah, oh, damn it! I wasn't expecting them to actually attack it. Oh well. We'll just have to retake the settlement. Let's we'll lay siege, starve them out. It'll be fine. Blockade the port of Carthage. Yeah, well, I don't even have a fleet, so I'm not doing that. Okay, so... Looks like the Dacians took it, and that's fine. General! Engage the enemy! 
The population here is going down. So maybe just leave it for a turn, let it recover some of its people, and then we'll resume recruiting next turn. Sure, we'll kill their faction here, but I don't expect to do this without a few casualties. General's bodyguard can put up quite a fight, especially against our early game troops. They don't really have a choice, they have no choice but to stand or die. I'll tell you what, I'd really love to be able to um, to design the next historical total war. I don't mean the one that's like coming out end of this year or early next year, as in end of 2018, early 2019. Because I don't know if this episode is going to come out in, episode, in 2017 or 18 now. Doesn't matter. But yeah, the one after that. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a thing there. I don't know. I've been contemplating possibly doing a series on, like, what I would do. If I was the, the basically the dictator, of, can dictate through. exactly what's going to be in the next historical total war. If I was in charge of medieval three, but I suppose the main concern is like I understand that this is a problem that Creative Assembly the enemy gate is down. Um, Our ram is comes into contact working. with. You cannot possibly please everyone. And even if, even if like my design was like the best the ever, there'll be someone be like, "Oh, this fucking design sucks." So I don't know. Great gods, our soldiers have done well this day. The walls it's are It's too taken. hyper complex. I don't want to be able to manage two buildings at a time. I like having no buildings in my settlements. I couldn't believe it when I saw someone call Medieval 2 hyper complex once. I was like, are you, are you kidding me? Hearts of Iron 3, hyper complex, I would say. But you know, not. It's not rocket science. And if I was in charge of the next historical total war, it would not be hyper complex. It would be it would be a complex game, which would have streamlining options. So if you were lazy or, you know, a bit more casual, there'd be things like, hey, do you, would you like us to auto-manage politics? Yes, that would be great. You know, auto-manage this, auto-manage my construction, auto-manage my army recruitment, auto-manage, you know, it, which is available in this game as well. Which isn't available in the later Total War games. You can't auto-manage anything. But there just isn't that much to auto-manage anyway. I probably should have accepted their surrender. Doesn't really matter though in the long run. Because I should be able to re recruit my Hastati from here. Victory! This land is Roman. Good. Enslaving them means more population to govern settlements out this way. Now, are there any people out here that have like two governors? 
that. Anyway, I want the majority of the, the slaves to be arriving in Italy. Good, the Hastati can be retrained here, because we were a little bit low in numbers. We weren't too bad, but we're starting to, starting to suffer casualties. So our spy here is getting a bit, a bit long on the tooth. Might be an idea to start getting some more. Okay, now we've got a reasonably good path to finish off the Gauls. If we manage to take this, finish off the Gauls, that'd be great, and then we can focus on the Spanish. Alright, so we're staying here for the turn. Get rid of this. Whoa, fuck me, that was close. Good, let's move on. Right, so we're pretty much at the end of the episode here. We should be able to get two or three more episodes out of out of our guy. Um, an alliance with Thrace. Hmm. Yeah, alright, I'll give it a give it a go. It gives us map information and trade routes. But I'd happily just cancel it. As soon as it's inconvenient. Now. So we've got thirteen regions. So we've only taken three regions this episode, is that correct? That'd be right. Had these two. One, two. Oh no, that's right. Three. So I had this one here. We just have to retake it. Attack! Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Well, so this is already out. Fine by me. Bit of an army there, but if that's going to be their last stand, so be it. We'll take it off them, and then there'll just be one fewer enemies that we need to worry about. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part two is ne oh, sorry. Part two point one is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.